So, fellas, holy mother duck, I literally just got off the plane from Tokyo, Japan, and I just touched back down in Australia. Not only that, I've grown, I've started growing out a beard, so uh, no one pay me out in the comment section below, all right? I'm trying to, I'm going to grow it real thick. Your boy's going to have a nice, I'm just kidding, I don't know. Probably gonna shave it off tomorrow, but I'm gonna leave it here. It's a bit of a holiday beard, you know? Anyway, I thought, you know what, what the heck? This time, like, I've been to Japan three times now, so this is my third time that I just went. And I think I got more stuff Pokemon related and, like, channel related than I have any time I've gone. So I thought, you know what? Since you guys saw all the vlogs and you guys were absolutely loving them, right? What if? What if I did a haul of everything I got in Japan? Just a good summary, because I bought so much stuff, we did like, you know, this is what I got here, this is what I got there. But then, like, on top of literally everything I got in Japan, I actually got a package or like a few packages in the mail while I was away. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got in the post while I was away, and we'll just do the biggest Pokemon card haul on you. Like, literally, this could be the craziest Pokemon haul ever done on YouTube. So without further ado, let's start with the stuff that I got sent while I was away in Japan. Okay, literally, the boys over at Chaos Cards, which if you don't know are like the channel's biggest supporters ever, were like, Ando, there's been a brand new English TCG set out, and I saw you unboxed it, so we're gonna send you another booster case. And it's literally gonna show it up while I was away, so like, when I got home, I saw this at the front door, and I'm like, oh, no way, they've actually done it, I didn't believe them, and they sent it. And not only that, it's like, I've still got a Celestial Storm, like, blister pack right here. A brand new three pack. We've got the brand new Fairy expansion that just came out in Tokyo, Japan. So I bought that as well. Just because, you know, we're, we're gonna unbox it on the channel. We haven't seen that yet. So that's coming soon. I don't know, I can't remember me doing this, but apparently at one point on eBay, I went and bought another Celestial Storm booster box. So now I've got another one right here. And then like on, on the same night that I went and bought apparently an entire booster box of that stuff, I bought I bought another Elite Trainer box. I've already unboxed one, I've already got one, but I bought another one, so we got one of those. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's start, let's crack this bad boy open. Literally, I I I had never got a boost case in my life until like four months ago when Chaos Cards started sending it to me. So again, shout out to Chaos Cards. If you guys want a discount code, they always like hook the subscribers up. So I'm gonna leave a discount code like right there. And uh, if you enter it in, usually you get like 5% off the card purchases on the website. So I'll link them in the description below for sure. Because like, honestly, they are the biggest legends ever. Oh, it's the best site. There's nothing better than an entire booster case of Pokemon. Like a booster case is six Pokemon booster boxes. And that, my friends, is an entire booster case worth. Holy smokes. Let's get this all out. Let's do it. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh gosh, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Okay, this is cool, this is cool. Oh my gosh, that's sick. Check, check this out, guys, check this out. Are you looking right now? Oh, this, my friends, is what an entire boost case of Celestial Storm looks like. I know, I know, keep it in the pants. Holy flipping mother duck. Because if we include the one that I got on eBay, we've legitimately got, this, this is ridiculous. We've now got seven booster boxes. It's like a baby, it's like a Pokemon card baby. But yeah, we've got like seven Pokemon booster boxes. Yo, I don't, I don't, guys, I need suggestions. Honestly, guys, if you are anything of anything you want to see with a booster box ever, like I've got seven now, so leave a comment in the comment section below if you want a giveaway, if you want like something you've always dreamed of doing. I, don't, I literally, I'll take anything. Uh, yeah, I just like, I'm keen for suggestions. Leave them in the comment section below. I don't know, you want someone me to collab with and uh, open the booster box with? Let me know. But yeah, again, shout out to Chaos Cards. You guys are absolute legends. Thanks again for sending me a booster case of booster boxes. But let's get into the uh, <laughs> more stuff that I bought in Japan. Oh my gosh. So I guess since I just like went over those uh, Pokemon booster boxes, I actually visited Google, YouTube hit me up like, Ando, we love your YouTube videos. And I'm like, no way. Oh my, boss man likes my stuff. So literally, the, the website itself, YouTube, aka Google, uh, they hit me up, they wanted to invite me out to lunch, so I went over there, hung out with the people at Google, and they gave me t-shirts, and I was like, this is so sick. So, they got a uh, YouTube t-shirt right here, and it's got the uh, play button on the back, then a whole bunch of YouTube stickers, which I put all over my laptop, and they also gave me a polo with the uh, YouTube gaming logo right there. Oh, dude, I don't know, I love I loved free like apparel and all that, on Mailman Monday, if you guys ever want to send t-shirts, I always appreciate it. Oh, I thought that was so sick. So yeah, thanks again to Google and YouTube. 
But uh, that, that that was that was pretty random. Then obviously we got the uh, the Pokemon Center hall. You guys saw me go to Yokohama Pokemon Center, and that was the first one. And it was really really quiet because it's a bit out of Tokyo. It's like not everyone goes there. Um, and it was the week before the Pikachu Festival, so they had it really really stocked up. So I made sure I got a lot of stuff here. Um, and then hence why I didn't buy too much at the other places. But I put everything I got Pokemon Center related into this bag. And let me show you guys what I got. Obviously my uh, my favorite pickup of the whole trip. <laughs> I don't know why, and I, 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 is it you guys' favorite too? Because I feel like it is. I love this so much. I thought this is the best slush toy. Look, Pikachu's now got a friend. But yeah, this is my favorite pickup of the whole entire trip. I love it. A little cube. Look at his cute butt. Um, so that was my favorite plush pickup. Other plushes that I got the Pokemon Center, you always have to get the exclusive ones. So uh, we got Squirtle. He spilled like beans. I thought that was pretty sick. This is part of the new extremely fluffy Pocket Monsters range. But uh, this is a Haneda Airport exclusive Pikachu. And he's exclusive with the little like uh, HNE or HND on the uh, little costume here. And he's wearing a pilot's uniform. So apparently this is a keychain. I'm not putting it on my keys because they literally never fit my pocket with his fat ass in there. But <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So we got a pilot's Pikachu. And then, then we just got like an, an insane amount of blind boxes, which we'll do a separate video on for sure, don't worry. But we got a, <laughs> I don't know why uh, Ben put this in the thing, but my friend put a whole booster case of blind box Pokemon Cafe food items. Yeah, I don't know, this is gonna be a really fun video though, because I'm looking at this so confused as to what they are. Literally, you can pull hamburgers out of these things. So we'll unbox a blind box of Pokemon Cafe food items. Then obviously I got all the latest blind boxes they had at the uh, Pokemon Center. So we got the Poke. Oh my gosh! Pokemon goes to the beach. The see-through Pokeballs. The uh, back-to-school items right here, which you can put pencils in. Then you got like Pikachu goes to the carnival ones. They're pretty sick. And then you got like uh, what the heck is this? Pokemon tropical treats blind boxes. Pokemon Center exclusive. All right. Then what I think is like really, really sick are these brand new Pokemon Center exclusive uh, mystery plush toys. So if you can see right here, there's a whole bunch of mystery uh, plush toys you can potentially get out of these Pokeballs. So Pikachu's obviously the rarest one, but it's a lot of like Gen 2 sort of stuff. Marie, Pichu, uh, Totodile, you know, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, any of those bad boys. So we got one mystery Pokeball, uh, another mystery Pokeball, and I think we got a third. Yeah, and a third mystery Pokeball. So that's pretty sick. How many boosters? Oh, I cannot wait. We'll do a separate, like, there's so many TCG openings to come up on the channel from the trip. But we got a whole bunch of those boosters. These are so cheap. Dude, they're a dollar each in Japan. So I think in total, that was like 12 bucks. Maybe 15, because there's like 15 boosters there. That's, in that's insane. I can't believe that. Then we got, like, uh, this thing right here. Not entirely sure what it is. Let's crack it open now. Oh, it's like a fun book. Okay. So it's got a whole bunch of different puzzles in it. It's so like finder words, we've got like uh, mazes. Oh, it's a bunch of trivia. And then like celebrating the new game it has all the screenshots in there. And next up, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen the second channel by now, I've got a brand new channel where I do like a lot of clothing related stuff. So uh, I thought I'd pick something up. So I went to Off-White. Um, that's where I buy a lot of my clothes from. And they gave me free cups. And this is pretty random, but like Off-White's a bit of like a, I don't know, weirdly expensive brand. So they give these for free and it literally just says plastic cup on them. The most random thing ever, but I know I've, there's a few people in the comment section that may get this, may think it's pretty cool. Then last but not least was the second hand shopping that I did. Dude, I've never got this much good stuff before. I don't know what it is, but I think more and more people are finding out about, oh my gosh, I just see something else. I'm, okay, I'll show you guys that in a second. But I don't know what it is, but like, it must be the peak season for people not wanting to do second hand shopping. Because I got a stack this time, like an ultra mega rare stack of Pokemon stuff. I've never seen stuff like this. But I spent over a thousand dollars on secondhand Pokemon cards, and this stuff is well worth ten grand at least. Don't stress, I'm definitely doing a separate unboxing on everything you see here because, like, I need to show you guys up close, and I'm personally never been more excited to unbox Pokemon cards in my entire like. These things are gonna be so much fun. But we got some Pokemon Holo Mystery Cubes right here. Basically, what they do, they take all these random Pokemon cards that Japanese people trade in seal them up into a cube, they don't even look. These could be worth anywhere between like 10 bucks and like a thousand dollars. Just random cards sealed up into blocks and then they sell them for 17 bucks. So, I've got three $17 mystery power cubes, all from the second hand shop. 
do. They already have super rare holo promos on the front of those bad boys, so I couldn't imagine what's inside of them. Then that lake shop itself, Mandurake, they recently released a brand new exclusive glow-in-the-dark bear brick, and these things are like collector's paradise. If you don't know what a bear brick is, it's basically a hype beast uh, collectible. And when I saw this at the counter for 17 bucks, I had to pick it up. So this is like really, really hard to find exclusive stuff. Cannot believe that I managed to cop one. So that was pretty sick. I know a few people will get that in the comment section as well. Then I managed to get Ruff at like 10 bucks. This like really cool Pikachu, uh, I don't know what it is, like collectible package they gave out once upon a time. So it's got the promo Pikachu at the front, which is already super rare. Then we'll uh, unbox this one as well, but this is a Nintendo 64 Pokemon card guide. There's, there's a bunch of like exclusive Pokemon cards in there as well. It's got Nintendo 64 branding all over it. It is so tight. That thing is like ultra rare and I cannot believe I found it in mint condition. That was $10 as well, bro, I know. Then uh, like literally the entire set of Pokemon Pocket Monsters Best Wishes sticker boosters. This is $20, but it's every single booster they released in this like really weird Japanese sticker expansion. So we'll do an unboxing of that as well. That looks actually insane. Cannot believe I picked that up. That was 20 bucks. Then we got this thing right here. I've never heard of this before, but it came with a CD at the top and like it was in really cool packaging. It's got a couple of like promos down the bottom there. It's the Diamond and Pearl era. I think this is like online expansion for Diamond and Pearl. Dude, I just had to get that for the collection. I don't, I think I'll unbox it, but like it's just a staple. I've never seen it before and it was $20. I'm like, bruh, of course I'm going to pick it up. 20 bucks. I know what's inside of it. We'll unbox it. We'll find out. But I think the like, biggest rare purchases that we did, right, the, the craziest shopping was the boosters I managed to find. So, we already got 25 bucks was a uh, Team Rocket base set sealed expansion right here. This one right here is from back in, back in the day. And the best part of these Japanese uh, Team Rocket like base set ones, guaranteed to have a promo in there. Garen flippin' teed. Oh my gosh, already a must pick up. So I was like freaking out already, right? Then... One of the rarest boosters in existence. It is so rare and so limited, they never even made packaging for it. They just sealed it up and chucked a logo at the front. And it was only ever released in Japan. A Web E-Series exclusive booster. This thing, there is literally one opening on YouTube about this. I kid you not, and I found it. This is an 180 US dollar booster which is 100, uh, 220 Australian dollars. This booster is worth 220 Australian boosters. I mean, dollars, I've lost my mind. I am so pumped up to get this open, but then that isn't even the rarest, like this is probably the rarest individual booster, but not the rarest collection booster I got. Like, bro, we have some ultra red bangers coming up on the channel. Like you already know I'm, I'm unboxing all those. So all that happened, then the last day when we went Pokemon card hunting and you saw this, we went to an exclusive like secondhand place where they didn't even allow filming. I managed to get some clips. If you haven't seen that, go check the vlogs out. The Japan vlogs last week, just go check them out. But I found four, a complete freaking set of yellow, red, green, and blue E-Series Pokemon Coliseum booster packs. I've never, as a, I'm a hardcore Pokemon card collector. I know every single set, right? I watch Pokemon card like videos all the time. I've never heard of this. There is not a single opening on YouTube about this. These have never been opened on YouTube. I don't know if there's even a documented experience of opening these because they are so rare. Like, when I say they're rare, I mean they're freaking... I didn't do more research on how the heck these came out and like more de If you know more details, let me know in the comment section below. Like, I'm keen to find out more. But these are Pokemon E-Series side expansion only ever released in Tokyo. Pokemon Coliseum E-Series expansion. Bro, and I got every single artwork. All four of them. That was a high, it was 200 US, so it's about 250 for the four. I can't find these. I found one on eBay, and he was trying to sell this for $1,000. So a complete set of every artwork, I'm pretty sure is going to be, I don't even want to know. I'm going to guess like three and a half, four grand for four of these. I think I'm just going to do it. I think I'm just going to open it. I should sell them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it for the channel. The artworks on these, holy sugar my booger. 
they look good. Honestly, these are going to be the most incredible things to open. So yeah, if you know more about these, let me know in the comment section below, but I'm just keen to crack them open. Gee whiz, we, we did good. Oh yeah, I got one more thing. I don't know, I think this slipped out of the uh, the Pokemon Center bag that we got, but I got a Dust Ball as well. Da -da -do! But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the entire Pokemon Center, Pokemon card and package haul that I got from Chaos Cards and all that. We have so much content. That's basically a little teaser of all the videos coming up on the channel. What are you really, really excited for? Let me know in the comment section below. Demolish the like button if you're excited. But yo, I'm jet lagged as heck. I need to go to I need to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I'm like jumbling my words around. I look like I've been hit by a bus. Anyway, guys, it's gonna be sick. I'm literally gonna film heaps of these videos tomorrow and the next day. I really, really wanna open those EU series packs. I wanna open all those rare boosters. And I wanna crack into a couple of those booster boxes and mystery boxes. Man, I love Tokyo, I love Japan. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlogs. Hopefully you enjoyed this epic like end of vlog haul. But without further ado, we got a lot more epic openings coming up. So make sure you stay subscribed, make sure you demolish the like button. Most of all, what are you gonna do? You're gonna keep on gaming! Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then! So many pieces of back together now. What's your vision?